two carbon taxes. The first, of course, 14.31 plus 15%, of which the federal government takes 5%. So that, by the way, is not rebated. The second carbon tax at this point is about nine cents a litre. That's the clean fuel regulation, the clean fuel standard. We at Canadians for Affordable Energy put together with a team of individuals, uh, some with political backgrounds like myself, economists Ross McKittrick, uh, and we discovered that uh, the effect of the clean fuel standard would be six to one negative. In other words, the cost benefit analysis, which the federal government refused to do in the first go around, would hit so hard those that are, you know, that would be impacted that it would uh, it basically cause several problems to stall economically and otherwise. They went back to the drawing board, made a few amendments, said natural gas and propane and still diesel for heating, home heating won't be affected. And yet it's affecting gasoline and diesel on which your economy runs. So the beginning of the summer, before all this nonsense, and oil was pretty much trading at the same as what it is today, it's a buck fifty a liter. Now it's a buck eighty-five, heading to a buck ninety, probably two dollars in the next few weeks for a variety of reasons. So that fifty cents of that fifty cents fully. 23 cents is the result of uh, the two carbon taxes, and those will double, as we know, and triple until 2030. So now you're talking to 50 a litre, maybe even $3 a litre for diesel. And let's not forget, because every time I do my analysis, I like to show this to people, because I do it every day, and I've been doing it for 27 years. You want to find out what's going on, the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar is no longer trading because the attack of the Liberal government shutting down pipelines, permitting Biden to do something as stupid as shutting, uh, killing the Keystone XL, in which we can get energy to the rest of the world because we have a federal government saying there's no business case, while the rest of the world is taking advantage of the fact that we were playing international Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. The practical effect, an additional 28 cents on the liter of gasoline and diesel. Now, because all commodities are priced in U.S. terms, imagine having that kind of a burden on everything you buy. Food, transportation costs, lumber costs, cement costs, steel costs, asphalt for the road. All of these things mean that because we no longer have the petrodollar status we did, not only are you paying a carbon tax of 23, 24 cents a litre in Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and of course, let's not forget British Columbia, you now have to pay an additional, let's call it for what it is, an additional 28 cents to 30 cents a litre, depending on the HST or GST that you're using because the Canadian dollar no longer behaves the way it is, because we're not selling oil and gas to the extent that we could or should. Bottom line, woke green policies are costing most people in Canada who vote Liberal far more than they can afford. And it's only a matter of time before they start chewing those smartening up pills. Hi, it's David Creighton there. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the station. We could not move forward without you. What we're trying to do every week here is bring you the news you might not see everywhere else. And we're coming against Justin Trudeau's internet censorship laws. Please subscribe, ring that bell if you haven't done so already. I know it's annoying to ask. And believe me, I'm not a salesman. <laughs> I'm a writer. But I really implore you to do that because I need this station to keep going. We want to keep bringing you the news that you want to hear. And if you want a story covered, let me know, please. Because that's where I'm getting a lot of news information from your tips. So thank you for being there for me. And you can also support this station by going on my Substacks and subscribing for $8 a month. Yes, I know it's free, but I, I can also use your support. So please do that if you can. And I will continue to be here every week, every day if, I'm, if must needs be, to tell you what's really happening in this world of ours. And I'm in nobody's pocket, but I am on your side.